Hi, I'm Mark Cherry, creator and executive producer of Desperate Housewives. And this is... Neil McDonough playing Dave Williams this year. And we are going to be here on ABC.com answering your questions. You, you got me. You had me at hello. I know. <laughs> well, that's nice. Thank you, Mark. My pleasure. What do you have planned for Dave? Will other characters catch on to the fact that he is up to no good? Yes, that is absolutely what will happen. Characters will catch on, but probably not till um, an exciting, action-jam-packed episode uh, at the very end of the season. I'm thinking maybe the finale. Uh, we're starting to plan out what's going to happen. It's going to be pretty exciting, so stay tuned for that one. Do you have nicknames for each other on the set? No, I'm Flicka. Felicity Huffman, that's her childhood nickname, and people who are close to her, she asked them to call her Flicka, but, you know. Uh, I haven't heard any. I've never really been a nickname guy. I heard that George Bush did that in his White House. He would give the reporters nicknames and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's not something I would do. It's a, there's a presumptionlessness to that. Well, like, it would be like, I'm going to call you Blondie. That's right, You know, exactly. it, it'd be like, okay, that's, that's well, an I, odd I think literally on, on, on your show, you know, the cast truly is a family and the crew, and they, they love each other so much. I literally don't think I've heard a nickname all year. Yeah. They're so genuine. Yeah, exactly. So, no. Are you on set for the making of every episode? Can I answer this one for you? Sure. He's not on set for every episode. He's on set for every scene. This is his baby. He goes through painstaking detail to make sure that we all know what's going on, what the scene is, um, and how it should be done. Thank God we're doing it because we're having the greatest... Speaking for the rest of the crew and cast... We're having the greatest times of our lives. And one of the things I learned is it's just really helpful to show up on set and they can be doing yeah. a scene and even my best actors can misinterpret completely what the intention of the writing is, you know, or the tonality of a joke or something. I went to Washington, D.C. I took about um, three days off to go to the inaugural and I wrote a scene. And what was funny is I saw the scene in a very comedic context. And apparently when they first performed it, completely... Tear-jerking, dramatic. And, dramatic. And it was odd. It was, we just couldn't figure it out. And then, you know, Mark called and said, it's a comedy. Yeah. Oh, I get it. And then yeah. after that, I mean, it was a terrific scene. Once I saw that on the page, I realized why you guys could misinterpret right. it. Because it was a very kind of dark, horrible comedy. And, but, and, and now in hindsight, it worked out perfect. Yeah, and it was, it was a great, great it was great scene. Was of course, the difference is when it was a comedic scene, it was about, you know, two minutes shorter. That's right. <laughs> so... You know, a little long that first time through. Can you tell us anything about Neil's audition? What made you choose him for Dave's? No audition. Um, Neil's one of those actors that uh, in the most you get is a meeting because he is so well respected in town. You know, everyone's after him. And I didn't need to audition him knowing his work as well as I did. Um, for me, it was really mostly about sitting down with him and letting him know, you know, how things worked here on Wisteria Lane. And once we explained it, it was a perfectly lovely lunch and Perfect. we were off and running. Yeah. Was it tough to join a hit show already in progress? When I first got to the set, I was about a half an hour early all by myself in Edie's house. I was like, wow, this is really cool. I wonder if the girls going to be like, oh my gosh, I've heard stories. Oh boy, this is going to be difficult. And all of a sudden, all the girls walk in, in a, as a pod, laughing and giggling. And immediately, I was like, this can't be true. This can't be, these girls can't like each other this much. And that first day of acting with them was just, it set the tone. And after that, it's been literally a blast. You know, everyone loves each other. Everyone so loves doing their job. And it's infectious. And, and it really starts from the top. So again, thanks, man. My pleasure. Have you ever thought about bringing back the Young family? Yes, I have. It might be a little tricky because Mark Moses, the actor who played Paul Young, is now on Mad Men. But, uh, you know, we'll see. If I haven't killed them, there's always a chance they can come back. That's the rule here on, on Desperate Housewives. Thank you so much. This is Mark Cherry, creator and executive producer of Desperate Housewives. And Neil McDonough, Dave Williams. Uh, and thank you so much for joining us on ABC.com. Tune in next Sunday on ABC for an all-new episode of Desperate Housewives. Sundays at 9, 8 o'clock central.